Here is Courtney Watkins. Watkins, a starter, regular starter for the Appleton Legends. And he is a very capable leadoff man. Does take strike one for the first pitch of the game. Strike to call, and now Watkins has a few words with the umpire. In the windup and the livery, swing and a miss. He got him on three pitches. Here's John Hendrick, another key starter for the Appleton Legends. Designated hitting in the two spot tonight. First pitch into him is a ball. In the windup and the second offering, it's sent into the backstop. Two and one now. That one scooted away from Grimm. A little bit high. So after striking Watkins out on three pitches, he's behind a bit against Hendrick. But now one is chopped foul up past first. McCoy goes and gets it. Two and two then. Swing and a miss. He got Hendrick. Two up, two down, both on strikeouts. And here is Jordan Plamen. Plamen watches one go low. Swing and a foul away for strike one. Yeah, I, I thought so. Watkins led the, led the league in hitting last year. 1-1. One, one. That one got the outside corner. Swing, and he got a piece of this one just but beyond the glove of Schmitz, but Granis gets it and makes the throw. That's it for the Legends. They go down in order in the first. A's will have their first chance in the bottom half. This is Sheboygan A's Baseball, and it's brought to you by Legend Larry's.
Legends will be starting Tim Hericula on the mound. And Dieter steps forward to face him. A bun attempt popped up, and Schmitz will catch it for out number two. We uh, apologize for the technical difficulties. We lost our internet connection here at the ballpark. We are now back up. The A's went down in order after Dan Barwick was caught stealing. Harry Stout was at the plate, so he'll be up again in the second. And now the Appleton Legends have gone one, two here in inning number two, actually the fourth and fifth hitters. Ground out and then a pop-up on the attempted bunt. So Schmitz working here to send the legends down in order once again. It's 1-1 one, one, and here's one lifted into shallow left. Caught by Grannis. And that is it for the legends in the second who do in fact go down in order. A's will have a chance to get the first runs of the game in the bottom half. Harry Stelt will be up first. This is Sheboygan A's baseball brought to you by Trilling True Value Hardware. It will be four, five, six, Stelt, McCoy, and Grimm. Swing and a miss on the off-speed pitch. And now that one was just a bit inside. It's one and one. That one came in at the letters for ball two. So again, Stelt has really been doing a magnificent job here late in the season. He's a bit off his normal pace for runs batted in, only 23. Well, that'll put him only sixth on the team, but he does have an outstanding batting average and on base percentage. Now he lifts one deep, but this one looks like it'll be playable. Just in front of the warning track is Courtney Watkins, and he makes the catch. First baseman, number 47, T.J. McCoy. Here is T.J. McCoy, appearing in only his seventh game of the season, but he's batting 444, and in those six games, he has three doubles and a home run. As well, as six runs batted in, averaging one a game then. These are certainly glad to have him in the lineup. Swings and misses. It's own two. And he makes contact with that one, follows it over the left field line, and it looks like it'll get out of play, and it does.
McCoy awaits the next 0-2. Riccula sends it, and another foul, this one back. So yet another old two. This one lifted high over toward the Appleton dugout, and it also gets out of play. So McCoy here defending the plate, keeping himself at bat. Curricula is way ahead of him. Swing and another foul away. Auricula looks in, and here's the next offering. Swing, and this one deep, but it looks like it will be caught, and it is just a step in front of the warning track. This is the right fielder, Mulkowski. And McCoy's at that, and much the same way as Stelt. He's certainly not getting any help from the wind. That's because there is none here tonight at Wildwood Park. Flag in center field has not moved an inch. Been that way since before the game started. Good breeze out. Those last couple might have been gone. Just didn't have enough on them. Taylor Grimm in now, and it's 0-1 to him after a called strike. Swing and a miss. Took a big cut there. Didn't connect. That one was high for one and two. Curveball falls in, strike three called. A's go down in order. And there have been two scoreless innings completed here at Wildwood Baseball Park. This is Sheboygan A's baseball brought to you by Miesfelds. Makers of quality meats since 1941. Shortstop, number seven, Burl. 
bottom three of the order for the Appleton Legends in the third. Earl Vorpoggle, leadoff man in the inning. And he sends a bunt foul. Swing. This one to short. Hamilton has it. Throw is a little low, but easily handled by McCoy. Here is Jason Malkowski. Schmidt sends him in a quick one, bounces to Grimm. 1 and 0. Oh. Breaking ball swung on and missed. One ball, one strike. And another swing and a miss. Fooled him again. It's way off that one. That one wasn't in the zone either. So now it's one and two. And the next offering, he gets it. But this one right to McCoy, who will step on first for the unassisted out. Well, number nine, batter now. It's Peter Feldkamp. The Appleton catcher. Ball one. Next one, blown away and blocked. Swing and a miss. He put the fastball by him. Schmidt winds and delivers. That one just missed. Next one called a strike. It's a full count, the first one of the game for either pitcher. And here is the payoff pitch. He did not swing. He checked it, and he will walk on to first. Ball one. Watkins in the bat now. As the legends are at the top of their order. Swing and a miss. It's one and one. Watkins was the leading batter in the Northeastern Wisconsin League last season. Recording a batting average of 409. Swing and now a foul away. Batting average of 409 for Watkins last season, an on base percentage of 520, so getting on base better than half the time. Certainly what you want out of a leadoff man. The count is now one ball, two strike to Watkins. That 
was a curve that Watkins had to hold back on, and it's two and two. So the 2-2 pitch, swung on and lifted foul. This one may be playable, but it goes out of play. Olsen was hustling after it, but it went over the fence, over the right field line. So it remains two balls and two strikes. Swing a hot one to second. They'll flip to second. Four six on the force. And that is it for the Legends. Two and a half innings of play, still scoreless. This is your Boy A's baseball brought to you by Larry's Distributing, the original sponsor of A's baseball. So how about it? A's with the bottom third of their order up. Fleischman, Amundsen, and Granis. Fleischman swings and misses. And he jammed him there. Couldn't quite catch up with it. Fleischman Leads the A's in batting average. That is A's with 100 or more at-bats. Only McCoy is hitting better than him. He's only appeared in six games and now a weakly hit ball in the infield and he won't be able to beat it out for the infield hit. So that's out number one. And Carter Amundsen will step in. Swing and this one into shall center. Watkins directly under it, and he makes the catch. Baseman, 
Here is Tony Granis. Breaking ball just inside for ball one. And that one just went foul. A burner up the first base line. Bounced just to the right of the bag. Makes for strike one. This is Granis's 10th game for the A's. This will be his 33rd at bat of the season. Two balls and one strike to him now. Ricula winds and delivers. Sends that one over Wildwood Avenue into the woods. Two and two then. Swing and a, another foul away and out of play over towards Wildwood. This one will stay in the park. Swing, and this one bounces right in front of the shortstop, and that one looked like it might have hit him in the head. He went down. Vorpoggle. Was in position to field it. That took one heck of a weird hop. And caught him in the upper part of the body, maybe the head or the neck. He went down. He's up now and looks like he'll be okay. That is the first hit of the game for either team. What a way to get it. Warpoggle is certainly in position to make the play, but... Sometimes you just can't figure those hops. That was a scary one. So Granis is aboard first, and Dylan Dieter is at the plate. Swing, and this one is a looper that'll get down into right, and it rolls a while as it fell in the gap, and now he's going to send Granis home. Loomis waving Granis home. The throw is going to be late, and the A's have the lead. An RBI for Dylan Dietert. Only the second hit of the game, and the A's have the lead. one to nothing here in the bottom of the third. Grannis has quite a lot of speed, and he used it there to hustle around. Dieter down second now, and Dan Barwick at the plate. So how about it? He's with the lead here. One run, first run of the game for either team. Getting two hits with two outs here in the third. And that one will not be another. Vorpagel makes a nice play. And that'll be a line out to six. And with that, the inning is over. One to nothing in favor of the A's after three complete. This is Sheboygan Baseball brought to you by Bank First National.
And John Hendrick leads us off as we go into the top of the fourth inning. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I am Carson Orschman to bring you the next few innings of A's baseball. And the first pitch from Schmitz will be a hit right to second base. And just to throw to first for out number one. It's been a fairly quick game so far. A's having the only run scored in three innings. And Jordan Plowman coming up to the plate now for Appleton. And there's strike one. Own one count to Plumman. And there's strike two. Right in the outside edge of the strike zone. And there's a swing and a miss for strike three. That's two outs already in the top of the fourth inning. Swing and miss for strike one. One and one count now. And that one will be hit right to short and thrown to one for out number three. And we go into the top of the bottom of the fourth inning with A still leading one to zero. You said towels, not sweatshirts. And here's Wyatt Olsen to lead off Sheboygan A's as we go into the bottom of the fourth inning. There's a ball for the first pitch to Wyatt Olson. And one in the dirt there. Two and no count. And that one will get right down third baseline. And Olson will take second. That's a double for Wyatt Olson. And Harry Stelt is going to follow him up and see if we, he can bring him in and get another run. First pitch to Stout. Looks like that one will get 
foul in right field. That'll be a ball low, and that'll bring Ol Wyatt Olson to third base. One and one count for Stelt. And that one will be hit right to the pitcher, and White also will get back just in time. And Harry Stell will be out at first. And here comes TJ McCoy now. That one up and foul. And that'll be uh, just high. One and one count for TJ McCoy now. T.J. McCoy will hit that one high and way out there. And right at the fence, that'll bring in Wyatt Olsen and put T.J. McCoy on second. That's 2-0 to zero Sheboygan A's now. Great hit by T.J. McCoy. Here's Taylor Grimm. And that curveball just get the outside of the strike zone for strike one. Swing and a miss there on Grimm for strike two. And that'll be a ball outside. One and two count for Taylor Grimm now. Time will be called. Grim will step back in right away. And swing and a miss for strike three on Taylor Grimm. That makes two outs with Blake Fleischman coming up to the plate. strike one and Fleischman will hit that one foul for strike two
Oh, and two count, and Fleischman will hit that one right. And we grabbed it by short, and he will be called safe. Quite a throw by the shortstop, but looked like it'd be Fleischman would make it just in the nick of time. And here's Carter Amundsen now. Ball high. And pitcher looks to get Fleischman at first, but will be unsuccessful. Amundsen will hit that one way up there. Third baseman will run out to catch that for out number three. And we go into the top of the fifth inning with A's holding a 2-0 lead. And here's Trent Whitcomb to lead off the Appleton, Appleton Legends as we go into the fifth inning. And the first pitch from Schmitz will be a ball inside. And that'll be a swing and hit foul down the first baseline. There's a swing and a miss for strike two. And that one will be hit way up there. And it will be foul over the fence. I think like Fleischman lost that one in the sky. Strike number three. And that's first out here in the fifth inning. And here's Casey Silo now for Appleton. And that'll be called a ball outside.
And swing and miss for strike one. And ball just outside again for a two and one count now. And that one is going to be hit into left center. Puts a runner on first for Appleton. Shortstop, Earl. With Earl Vorpagel batting now. field but it will be foul for strike one. There's another one going foul. Oh, and two now. Mm. And the 0-2 pitch. That one's going to be hit. High and into right field, and we caught for out number two. Strike one. And a one and one count now. Swing and miss for strike two. One and two. And here's the pitch and that one will be in the dirt. be a ball again, bringing the count to full. And I want to be hit right past Schmitz to second base and thrown to TJ McCoy for out number three. 
And we head to the bottom of the fifth inning is still leading two to zero. Here's Tony Granis to lead off Sheboygan. We'll see if he can start it off here and maybe score a few more runs. And he lays down a bunt, goes down third baseline, and thrown to first, and throw will be called safe. And here's Dylan Dietert now. Call the ball low. And throw to first, but will be called safe. And another one, and still be called safe. off the handle and shortstop will slip. Dieter will get to first and Grim to or Granis to second. And here comes Dan Barwick now. Barwick puts out a bunt, but he'll miss. He'll pull back just in time for ball one. And there's a swing and a miss for strike one. Pitcher 
will step off. looks at second but we'll throw the pitch and Barg puts out another bunt but it'll pull it back again just in time for ball number two. Two and one count now. And then Barg puts out another bunt down third baseline and he will make it to first. Very close throw, but he'll make it and that'll load the bases now with Wyatt Olsen coming up to bat. Bases loaded, we'll see if Wyatt Olsen can bring a few runs in. Looks like a little bit of arguing going on on the field. And Olsen sets for the pitch. And here it comes, and that'll be called strike one. Swing and a miss for strike one, two, I want two count for Olsen now. There's a ball outside. One and two, and Olsen steps out. Olsen will hit that one way up in the foul territory, but it'll be caught for route number one. And here comes Harry Stealth up to the plate now. Ball just outside. And there's strike one. One and one count to Stout. And swing and a miss for strike two. And a 
one and two count for Stelt. And here's the pitch. And that'll be a fall ball into the backstop. That'll be a ball high. Two and two now. And Stelt will hit that one fouled on the third base side. Sell to break the bat and and Stelt will be called safe as he brings in Tony Grannis for a three to zero lead now. Here's TJ McCoy now. And a swing and a miss for strike one. Side. That'll work. And McCoy will hit that one into center field. That brings in one and two runs. Dylan Dietert and Dan Barwick come in for a 5 0 lead now. Great hit by McCoy. And here comes Taylor Grimm to the plate now. Still one out for A's. See if they can keep the run going. Ball ball down her first baseline. One one on Grim now. And he'll hit that one. He'll be grabbed by shortstop and touch on two for out number three. Going into the top of the sixth inning now with A's gaining three runs and having a lead of five to zero now.
with Peter Feldkam for Appleton to start us off here in the top of the sixth inning. I want to be in the dirt. sent into left field and be over Dieter Ted and runner will go to second and they'll hold him there. Here's Courtney Watkins now. And that one's going to be fouled into the backstop for strike one. That'll be a bunt down first baseline. We grab my Schmitz and he'll beat him to first for the first out. One out and here comes John Hendrick to bat now. Swing and a miss for strike one. And that'll be a curveball outside. like two and one and another ball three and one now Looked like the umpire was going to call that a strike, but held back and called it ball four. Here's Jordan Plumman now. Second baseman, Jordan Plumman. That'll be called the ball outside. And another ball, two and oh. Short thrown to second for one and will not make the throw to first. And that brings in a run for Appleton, bringing the score to five to one. And here's Tyler Naring for Appleton now. And 
ball just low. 2 0 now. Hit way up in the outfield, and Dan Baruch will get under that and catch it for out number three. He's going to the bottom of the six with a four run lead, five to one. And Blake Fleischman will lead off Hayes as we go into the bottom of the sixth inning. And Jake Stern will be coming onto the mound now for Appleton. And Fleischman will hit that one. We grab by second baseman and throw will not be made so Fleischman will be safe at first and here's Carter Emmonson now And lays the bunt down and throw to first will be made just in time for out number one. And here comes Tony Granis to bat now. There's strike one for Tony Uranus. And pitcher looks at second, but no one's there. And there's strike two. That one looked to be a little low on outside, but I guess he's going to call that one. 0-2 on Uranus now. and into over the third base side.
Oh, and two now. And pitcher will step off. And there's another fall ball. Another time called. And there goes Fleischman, the third. One and two now on Tony Grannis. And here comes the one two pitch, and how do we hit to second baseman? And Fleischman will get in a pickle and tagged for the out. And here comes Deterred now top of the order for the A's. Got Grannis on second now. <coughs> and Ketcher will call time and go talk to the pitcher. That'll be a strike. There's strike two. Oh and two for Dylan D turn now. And here's the 0-2 pitch, and that'll be hit right in the second base gap. And in comes Tony Granis. 6 1 Schwagen A's now. Center fielder, Dan Barwick. And now Dan Barwick batting. Pitcher looks to first to get deterred, but won't make it. And that'll be a ball low. And 
and there's strike one. One and one on Dan Barwick. Looks yet again to get deterred out at first, but won't make that. And Barrick will hit that one way up in foul. One and two, and it looks again to get deterred, but no go. And deterred goes to second, and he will be called safe. Looks like he just got under that tag. And Baruch will hit that one and foul again. <laughs> and another one foul. Still two and two. And two and two pitch. That will be a hit. Foul again. Another 2-2 two and two pitch, and that one will be called just low for full count now. And that will be a walk for Barwick. And Dietrich will take third on that. And here's White Olsen now. Looks to get Barwick at first, but still won't make it. And that one will go right to the pitcher. And throw to first will be made for out number three. Going to the top of the seventh inning with A's leading 6-1 now.
into the seventh we go. Hello, everyone. I'm Jared Ertman, back on to bring you the last few innings here in this semi-final game, the Northeastern Wisconsin League. A's currently leading the visiting Appleton Legends 6-1. to one. Eric Schmitz heads out to the mound for the seventh. He used the starter, and he's allowed one run on two hits thus far. Facing Trent Whitcomb, and the count is two and one. So after two and a half innings of scoreless play, the A's were able to get one in the bottom of number three, and now Whitcomb will send one that fades down into left. Dieter can't quite get to it, and that's the third hit of the game for Appleton. And up now for Appleton, Casey Silo. And the A's have scored runs in every inning since the third, one in the third, one in the fourth, three in the fifth, and then one in the sixth. Swing, and that one a line at a third, and they get him. On the double play, Whitcomb had his lead, and they were able to gun him after the liner went right to Blake Fleischman. After the double play, the shortstop Earl Vorpagel, who certainly got a workout in the field tonight, he got hit in the head after a bad hop, and then he had another play where the bat came at him. Here he stealth. Hit one, and the ball and the bat came at Vorpagel, and Stelt was safe on the play. Now Vorpagel will be safe with the fourth base hit of the game for Appleton. Kevin Kangas will pinch hit for Jason Mokowski. Swing and a miss. Kangas, usually a pitcher for the Legends, here getting a chance at bat. Wolkowski, for his part, was 0-2, and now King uh, swings and misses. is nowhere near that one. Schmitz looks in and delivers. That one was high, and it got away from Grimm. Vorpago will take second on the pass ball. One ball and two strikes to Kevin Kangas. Curve ball lifted high, and McCoy hustling after that one, but it will get on to the Appleton dugout and out of play. Remains one and two. The A's rode a bit of a wave of momentum into the playoffs. They had a seven-game win streak that was actually ended by the Appleton Legends last week, the last regular season game of the season up in Appleton. The Legends won 10-4. Prior to that, they had a seven-game win streak going, and they were really clobbering some teams, a string of 10 run rule victories. Four in a row, in fact, and... That one rolls foul past third. So they really had some momentum. Appleton was able to stop it. As I said at the top of the broadcast, the season series between these two teams is 2-2 two and two, with the home team winning each game. 
And Sheboygan is a formidable 23-5 and five at home. Well, here is the next 1-2 pitch. Breaking ball inside, it's 2-2. Two and two. Swing, and that one will be fouled back and out of play. So in that game, that was last week. In fact, it was uh, last week, Thursday. Legends used five walks to score four in the third, and they got the lead away from the A's. The A's never recovered and couldn't regain the lead. In the losing effort, Hayden Fenner had a pair of doubles. Blake Fleischman had a home run, but that was it. Club was a bit listless and flat. And they did win seven straight and 12 of the last 15 in the regular season. Mark Wallace was the losing pitcher. Two and two, swing and a miss. Down goes Kangas with him, the legends. They leave a man stranded, and we head into the seventh inning stretch. I'd like to take this time to thank some of the many sponsors of A's Baseball. First and foremost is Legend Larry's, one of the original sponsors of A's Baseball, and they distribute Budweiser products. And Bud Light is itself a sponsor of the A's, along with Sargento and Legend Larry's. These are also sponsored by Dufour Advertising, Culver's, Bank First National, Trilling True Value Hardware, Wigwam, Qmart, Northwood Superior Chemical Co., Papa Murphy's Pizza, Superior Lawn and Garden Center, Mountain Dew, because the A's do the Dew. And then there is Miesfeld's, makers of quality meats since 1941. And Aurora Sports Medicine, who provide the trainers that keep the A's healthy and in the game. BioLife Plasma Services is also a sponsor of the A's, along with Faze Pizza, The Breeze 1420 AM Radio, Art Immigs, Wisconsin Bank and Trust, Memorial Mall, We'd like to thank these sponsors and the many other A's sponsors of A's Baseball that keep the A's a fine organization in the community and on the field. Harry Stelt set to lead off the bottom half for the A's. Stelt one for three tonight with a run batted in. Drake Stern on the mound for Appleton, who came in in relief of a Hericula in the sixth. Two balls, no strikes to Stelt. Stern winds and delivers. That one caught the outside corner, that area that both starting pitchers were utilizing so well early in the game. There were no hits by either club to the bottom half of the third. Breaking ball falls in for strike two. So the 2-2 pitch from Stern. Another breaking ball 
And Stealth does not connect. He'll head back to the bench. And up will come T.J. McCoy. McCoy is two for three tonight with three RBI and a double in the fourth. That one was inside to make it one and oh. Good crowd here tonight at Wildwood Baseball Park. Crowd coming in at a little more than 500 people. Largest crowd of the season. sort of official attendance, I mean. 2-0, and, oh and McCoy sends this one into right, and it'll be fair. He's heading for two. He'll get there standing up. Another double for McCoy, and that is his third hit of the game. Just lining him around the yard tonight is T.J. McCoy. And here is Taylor Grimm. Grimm has yet to reach base tonight. A couple of strikeouts and a line out for him tonight. So I'd say he's due. Swing and a hot one fall over towards the A's dugout. Stern sets, checks McCoy, and delivers. Curveball falls in for strike two. Grimm awaiting the 0-2. There it is. It is low. He checks his swing. One and two. One away here in the bottom of the seventh. He's with a man in scoring position. That man is T.J. McCoy. He's not slow, but he doesn't have a ton of speed either out there. And one is lifted, and it looks like it'll get out of play. It does over the right field line. Remains one ball and two strikes to Grimm. Grimm steps back in and waits the next one to pitch. Here it is, and it's lifted foul once again. This one looks like it'll go out of play, and it does. Well, the A's would like to invite you to the snipe, and that is the Sheboygan Athletic Club's annual golf outing and dinner. It'll be on August 23rd at Town & Country Golf Club. It's going to be a blast, and we'd like you to participate. Golf will be a scramble format and will be open to men, women, mixed couples, pretty much everyone. Now another fall away by Grimm. There will be prizes, lunch on the course, vouchers redeemable for beverages, and dinner at the 19th hole. There will be golf awards, a variety of games and contests, raffle prizes, auction items, and it will be the A's final 10th inning gathering of the year. So after several fouls, it remains one and two, and now Grimm sends another one foul. Grimm hanging tough and sending this at bat into a double-digit pitch count for Stern. 
And if you'd like to be a part of the Snipe and be a part of Wisconsin's finest amateur baseball program, you can go to SheboyganBaseball.org, fill out the registration form, and send in your money either by paying online or sending a check. So join the Snipe. We'd love to see you there. Love to have you. Again, that's August 23rd. Two and two now to Grimm, and that one's inside. He's worked the count full. And one strike to Blake Fleischman. Curveball doesn't get in the zone. Two and one. Strike two called. Evens the count. Fleischman looking to get his season average up above 350. Came in batting 347. And that one will be low to fill the count. Fleischman with that average leading the A's. Swing and this one is deep. It has a chance. It will bounce on the warning track, hit the wall. He'll go for three and be there standing up. An RBI triple for Blake Fleischman and the crowd showing its appreciation. With that run, the A's take a 7-1 lead. A's have had some good two-out hitting this evening. Started with some two out hitting in third to get the first run of the game and most recently here, grounder to short. Throw is low, but picked four out number three. A's get one in the inning and after seven complete, it is Sheboygan seven, Appleton one. This is A's baseball brought to you by Northwood Superior Chemical Co.
Pitching change for the A's. End of the game is Brandon Winfield in relief of Eric Schmidt. Schmidt allowing one run on four hits. No errors in the field behind him. Winfield did have the A's all-time single-season save record last season with 10. Eclipsing the previous record of four this season. Been mostly starting games. And he does lead the A's in innings pitched, 64.2. This will not be a save opportunity. He does strike out the first batter he faces. That's Tanner Vandehey. Swung and missed. And so Appleton will go back to the top. Here is Courtney Watkins. Watkins, a very able hitter. He's been kept quiet tonight. Now he has a chance maybe for a Texas leaguer. It will get down in front of Olsen. Watkins gets the base hit. And it'll bring up John Hendrick. Chance for a save opportunity here. The A's lead is too large. Two now to Feldkamp. Rather, John Hendrick. Swing and a miss. He got him. Two way. Here is Jordan Plumman up now. Winfield with a 7-3 and three record on the season. Now a steal attempt. They got him. Watkins caught stealing. That will be it for Appleton in the eighth. Three up, three down. And the A's have a chance to put up even more on the legends in the bottom half of inning number eight. This is Sheboygan A's baseball brought to you by the Breeze 1420 AM radio.
Number nine batter, Tony Granis, here in the eighth for the A's. Pitching change for the Legends. On the mound will go B.J. Chase. Slow breaking ball that will go out of the zone. Two and zero now. Granis two for three tonight with three runs scored. He swings and sends one into the backstop for strike one. Three and two, the full count. Trace winds and delivers. Swing, and this one will be caught in center. Watkins laid out for it and made the catch. That was a good one. Oh, he's manager Derek Lumen's out to maybe argue. Certainly is arguing. Certainly looked like quite a good catch by Watkins, and that ruling holds up. Loomis still having a few words. Loomis has been pretty combative, pretty ready to challenge umpire's decisions this season. We've seen him out a couple of times in single games, maybe sometimes more. one to Dylan Dieter now and now a curveball gets into the zone for strike two. Swing and a miss. Dieter goes down. Two way, and here is Dan Bowick in what may be the A's last at bat of the game. Watches ball one. That one a fastball that just missed. That one got the outside corner to even the count. Swing and a fall back. It's one and two. I've just received word about the progress of the other semifinal game between Menasha and Oshkosh. Six to nothing in favor of Menasha in the ninth. A 
that one just missed Bywick. He had to get out of the way quick. Two and two is the count. Chase winds and delivers. Swung on and missed. The A's go down in the eighth. And they'll need three in the top of the ninth to secure the victory. This is A's Baseball brought to you by Bud Light. Three, four, and five hitters due up for Appleton. Jordan Plowman, Tyler Nearing, Trent Whitcomb. It'll be facing Brandon Winfield. Appleton needs six runs in this inning to keep the game going as the A's are up 7-1. And last inning was the first time since the second that the A's failed to put up a run he scored runs in the 3rd, 4th, 5th, 6th, and 7th. Ball to Granis at 2nd. The throw is made. And that's one away. Here is Tyler Nearing. Checks his swing for ball one. Swing and a miss. It's even at one. Put it right by him there. That was the heater. Winfield takes the sign and delivers. Swing and a miss. He put another one by him. Well, here's the one, two. That one, a curve ball that went low. Two balls and two strikes. And the next one, a fastball just up and out. The count is full now. So how about it? Here's the payoff pitch. Swing and a miss. He got him. Two up, two down. Now a pinch hitter. That's number eight. And it's Chris Erm.
So Erm represents the last chance for the Legends. He is sent ball one by Winfield. Next one called a strike. It's one and one. Well, the A's dress two strikes away from going to their third straight Northeastern Wisconsin League Championship. Breaking ball, not in the zone. It's two and one. Swing and a foul away. He jammed him there. He got a piece of it. Sent it towards the Appleton dugout up along third base line. Two balls and two strikes. Crowd getting on their feet now. And Winfield winds and delivers. That one went low. The count is full. Still on their feet. Time called now by Erm. Tension is mounting here. And into the windup. Swing, that one will be gathered up by Granis. He had to travel away to get it, but he got it. And that is out number three. A's win, and they will be headed to the Northeastern Wisconsin League Championship. Time of the game, two hours and 21 minutes. Line score for Appleton, one run on five hits. They committed one error for the Sheboygan A's, seven runs on 14 hits. They did not commit an error. Winning pitcher is Eric Schmitz in